Hello beautiful, my name is Sharon Kelly and welcome to my channel Super Aging. Please like, subscribe, we'd love, th we'd love that. Love that. <laughs> Today we're doing a squeeze and tone home workout. All you will need is a mini ball and your mat. Are you ready? Let's get started. Grab your ball, place it down on the mat and place your shoulder blades on top of it. Support your head. So we're going to start with just contracting our core. So we're going to draw the belly down to the floor, lift the shoulders off, well, the upper back off the ball and release. Let's do four and three, two, really deep in that abdominal contraction, one. Supporting your head, we're going to roll over the ball, stretching the abdominals. Contract your abdominals as you lift your upper back off the ball. Now, as you come up, just make sure that your hips, your knees and middle toe are in alignment. Keep supporting your head. We've got three more. Really feeling the abdominals contract to lift you up. And two. And one. Now, we're going to stay up. We're going to do those five little contractions again. So draw the tummy down towards the floor. Feel your shoulders, upper shoulders lift off the floor, upper back, sorry, two. All right, really squeeze and tighten the core, one. Okay, coming over the ball for five. Support your head. We breathe out to come up. Now you should be able to wiggle your toes here. Let's do three. The only thing we should be feeling is our abdominals. And two, just about feeling the six, six pack, six pack um, poke through. One, okay guys, staying up. Let's go for five, really strong contraction. Three, come on, squeeze, two, and one. Okay, coming over the ball for five. And four. All right, deepen that abdominal contraction for three. And two. Last one, let's do one more round. So five little pulses, three, lift the chin slightly, two, one, five big crunches over the ball. And four, squeeze your abdominals to lift up. Three. Two, oh, you're doing so well. Last one. All right, just roll over the ball. Keep supporting your head. Just let everything go. Let your abdominals, it just it, they go into a little stretch here and that's all we want. All right, so just contract them again. Lift yourself up. Take the ball out and place it under your hips. Lifting the hips up. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be working our abdominals, but we're also working on stability here as well. So I want you to bring your knees above your hips. Place your arms on the floor and press them gently into the floor. So let's just work with the toe taps on the right side. So lower the foot towards the floor now, as you bring the leg, the knee back up above your hip, I want you to squeeze your abdominals. Keep going on the right side. Staying, keeping your body weight centered so you're not leaning to one side more than the other. Feel the abdominals contract as you lift the knee above your hips. Let's go for five. And it doesn't matter if the toe doesn't get to the floor. What I'd rather you do is focus on keeping your hips um, stable. All right, guys, three. All right, deep contraction with your abdominals as you lift the knee above the hip. And last one. Excellent. Let's try that on the other side. So you lower the foot towards the floor. Contract your abs, lift the knee above your hips. All right, let's do seven. Squeeze your abdominals. And five, keeping the shoulders wide, the 
arms pressing down into the floor. Good work. Let's do three. All right, really deep abdominal contraction here. Two. And one. Okay, just lift the hips up and take the ball out. Put it somewhere so we might use it again. All right, we want to open the knees up and toes together, keeping the knees in line with your hips. So we're going into a little hip lift. So we're going to press the upper back into the floor, contract your abs and lift the hips off the floor. We're going to do four more. Now try and keep your shoulders relaxed. Three, I'm finding that very hard. Two, squeeze your abdominals to lift. And last one, okay, coming back up, we're gonna lift the hips and hold for five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go into the hip lifts for five. Squeeze, contract the abs to lift the hips up. And four. All right, shoulders are away from your ears. Two more. And last one. Okay, let's go into that hold for five. We're working your lower abs. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, we've got another set. Five. And four. All right, really contract the abs to lift the hips. Three. Oh, sorry, what I should say is feel the abs contract as you lift the hips. Two. And one, now we're going into that hold. So we want to feel that deep abdominal contraction to hold our hips up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, we've got one more round. Let's do five. And four, lift up. Are you having fun? Three. <laughs> All right, really strong contraction here. Two. This is it. Squeeze your abdominals. One. Okay, let's go into the last hold for five. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, just bring your knees into the chest. Lengthen your right leg. Place it on the floor, your left leg. Just bring your hands above your head. Arch your back. Just take a nice big breath in here. Just let your arms go, let everything go, let your abdominals relax. Ah, okay, just coming up to a seated position. Okay, so into sideline. We're going to be working on four big movements with our legs and four pulse movements with our legs. So the first round is we're doing four leg lifts. So we lengthen the leg and lift it up, squeezing the glute to feel the leg lift. Two more, keep lengthening your leg, and one. Okay, we're lifting the leg up, so we lengthen, squeeze the glute, and go higher. Lengthen, squeeze, and lift. So lengthen, squeeze, and lift, one more. Okay, let's go down to our four big movements. All right, two more. Navel, abdominals are contracted here. Okay, lift the leg high. Lengthen the leg, squeeze the glute to lift the leg higher. Lengthen, squeeze and lift. All right, one more. Okay, two more rounds. Okay, nice controlled movement. Two more. Okay, last one, keeping that leg nice and long. Squeeze the glute, lengthen, sorry, lengthen the leg, squeeze and lift. Lengthen, squeeze, lift. Lengthen, squeeze and lift, one more. This is our last round in this set. <laughs> Feeling your leg get longer every time you lift. Two more. And last one, okay, our last leg lift. Last little pulse. Lengthen, squeeze the glute to lift. Lengthen, squeeze and lift. Two more. And last one, excellent work. Okay, we're going into a kick, bend the knee. Push the leg away, straighten the leg and bring it round. Let's do three. Good work. Keep the shoulders away, from, this top shoulder away from your ear. Last one, big lengthen of the leg. Keep the leg in line with your hip. Little bend to the knee, 
lengthen the leg. Little bend, lengthen. So it's like you're pushing your foot into something that's just out of reach. This is going into your knee, don't lengthen the leg as much. Let's go into our four kicks. Three, that's it, two, and one. Little bend to the knee, lengthen. Little bend, lengthen. Let's do two and one. Okay, we've got two more sets. How are we doing? And if you want more work, push that bottom leg into the floor. And last one around. Okay, little bend to the knee, lengthen. Little bend, lengthen. Little bend, lengthen. One more. This is our last round here. Let's go for four. All right, abdominals are contracted. Three, we're keeping our hips as stable as we can. Well, in my case, as stable as I can. Last one. Lengthen your leg, little bend, lengthen, little bend, lengthen, little bend, lengthen, little bend and lengthen. Okay, we've got more. Point the toe. So we want to lift the leg up and over to the back. Up and over. Now we want to keep lengthening our leg as we move through these arcs. Okay, this is our last one. So what we want to do is lift the leg, draw the toes towards you. Now on a diagonal, squeeze the glute and lift the leg back. So we squeeze, lengthen, lift. Two more and last one. Point your toe, come back to the front. Let's do four. See if we can make them nice and big. Three, keeping our hips and shoulders stacked. Two, are you loving this? And one. All right, flex the ankle, right, squeeze the glute, lengthen the leg, and it's going, lifting up on the diagonal. Squeeze, lengthen, lift. Two more, and one. Okay, we've got two more round, rounds. That's it. Can we go bigger? Tap the toe at the back. That's it. Two more, keeping the legs straight. And last one. Okay, flex the ankle. Squeeze the glute, lift the leg up, squeeze and lift. Push the foot away, and this is our last one. <laughs> Point the toe to the front. Let's go for four, and three, and two. Come on, keep these leg movements big. And last one, okay, lift up. Flex the ankle, <laughs> squeeze the glute, lift up for four, three, two, one. All right, guys. We're going to do leg loose again, but we're going to point the toe as we lift up, flex the ankle on the way down. So we lift up, flex, squeeze the glutes down. Point your toe to lift, flex the ankle to come down. All right, one more here. Keep lengthening the leg. Now point the toe, circle back for four. Little circles, three. Keep the legs straight. And last one. Point the toe, flex the ankle, squeeze the, the glutes to bring the leg down. Keep lengthening your leg away from you. Nice long legs. And last one, point your toe, little circles for four. Make them small. Two more. And last one, here we go, we've got two more rounds. Point, flex. Point to lift, flex the ankle to lower. Long leg. Can we go higher? This is our last one for this round. Circle back for four and three and two and one. Okay, our last round here. Point, flex and down. Come on, big leg lift. Lengthen your leg as you bring the foot down to the floor. Lift higher if you can. <laughs> I know it's hard. All right, point the toe. Little circles. And two more and one. <laughs> Well done, guys. <laughs> now, let's just give that a quick stretch. So just place that leg, the ankle, on your knee. Now, it could be quite tight, so just wiggle the toes around, you know. Press the tailbone into the floor. Lift the knee above your hip. Keep wiggling the toes. Just let everything go. We're not trying to stress, um, overstretch the piriformer muscle. Bring the feet down. We're going to swap sides, so... <laughs> We have to do the other side now that we've worked this side so hard. <sighs> All right, are we ready? 
Are we happy? No, this hurts. All right. Lengthen your leg, stack your hips, draw the navel to the spine. All right, so we're leg lifts to start with. So we're lifting up and coming down. Now we lengthen the leg, squeeze to lower, always lengthening the leg. And last one. Excellent. All right, last one. Coming up. Squeeze the glutes. Lift up for four, three. Keep reaching the foot away and one. Okay, let's go for four. Keeping the foot parallel to the ceiling. Three more. Come on, lift higher. Two and one. Now coming up to your high point, lengthen your leg, squeeze your glute to lift the leg higher. Two more. All right, guys, we've got two more rounds here. Lift high. Keep lengthening your leg. Two more. And last one. Coming up for those little pulses for four, three, squeeze to lift and one. This is our last round. Isn't the second side always the hardest? <laughs> Two more. Come on, you can lift higher. One. Okay. Lifting up. Squeeze to lift. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going into the kicks. Knee comes forward, straighten the leg, bring the leg around. We've got three and we've got two and we've got one. All right, little leg extensions, little bend of the knee, stretch the leg, squeeze the glute, little bend, stretch, little bend, stretch the leg, squeeze the glute, last one, into your kicks. Now, it's very hard for me to stay stable on this side, so please try and stay stable. And last one, All right, little bend to the knee, lengthen, push the foot away, little bend, lengthen and spread. Push the foot away. Should be feeling this into your glutes. And last one. Okay, we've got two more rounds. I think this is a very hard workout. And last one. All right, little bend to the knee. Lengthen the leg, squeeze the glute. Push the foot away. That's it. Last one. And I've lost count. I think this is our last round. All right, little bend, lengthen, little bend, lengthen, little bend, lengthen. Okay, knee comes, kick forward, lengthen the leg. All right, two more. And last one, little bend to the knee, lengthen, little bend, lengthen. Excellent work, guys. Let's go into our arcs. We're pointing the toe. Lift the leg up high. Bring it behind you. And three. That's it. Lift higher. Two. And last one. Good work. Flex the ankle. The leg is behind you. It comes up on the diagonal. So we squeeze the glute, lengthen the leg, and lift. Two more. Last one. Point the toe. Come back to the front. That's it. Can we lift higher? Higher. Three. All right. This is our last one. Bring the leg back. Lift up. Flex. Now, little pulses back on the diagonal. All right. Point the toe. We've got two more rounds. Keep going. <laughs> Come on, lift up. We can do this together. And last one. All right, flex, squeeze on the diagonal to lift the leg. And this is our last round. Let's do this. Can we lift higher? Come on, let's put it all in into it. Keep pointing the toe. All right, last one. Bring it back. Flex the ankle. Squeeze and lift up. And two and one. Okay. For our last round, we flex the ankle, we lift the leg, we point the toe, we come down. Flex, lift, point and down. Two more sets. And last one. Okay, little circles back, back for four and three and two and one. Point to lift, flex to lower. 
Now, I don't know about you, but my leg is feeling like leg. Lead, four back, three back, two back, one. Point flex down. That's it, two more. And last one, four little circles back, two more. And last one, this is our last one. Hang in there, guys, I know it hurts. Two more. And last one, okay, four little circles. Two more, and last one. Okay, roll over onto your back. Oh, did you struggle with that? <laughs> yeah, I did, if you, so you can tell. Okay, just let the hips rock side to side for a second. Wiggle the toes on that um, knee that's ankle, foot that's on your knee, the, 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 and then just gently lift the foot off the floor. Keep wiggling the toes, keep your upper body nice and relaxed. Ah, so much fun, not? Okay, bring the feet down. I want you to soften your feet into the floor and just align your middle toe, your knee and your hips up. And let's just, so the movement is we're gonna lift the hips about a centimetre from the floor and when we're going to tap down but we're not actually tapping our hips on the floor that you're going to come back to this position so press the feet evenly into the floor squeeze the glutes lift up come back to that position without tapping your tailbone on the floor let's go for six and five now as you lift up stand on your feet four three and two and one now coming up to your halfway point, well not even halfway, all I want you to do is have the tailbones just lifted off the floor, squeeze, draw the ribs to the hips, squeeze the glutes, release. Ribs to hips, squeeze the glutes, release. Let's go for six and five. Really tight contraction in your glutes. All right, two more and last one, excellent. Let's go for the lifts again. Squeeze at the top of the movement. Press the feet into the floor. Six, five, four. Good work. Keep going. Three and two and one. Okay. Little rib to hips pulsing. <laughs> That's a good name, isn't it? Squeeze the glutes. Let's do five. Really drawing the hips to the hip ribs. Three two and one good just bring your tailbone down you might want to just walk your feet a little bit closer lift up now we're going to just leave the tailbone just off the floor soften the feet into the floor we're going to lift the right leg five times the knee's going to stay at a 90 degree angle try to keep the hips level here all right so you put the weight into the left foot stand on it lift the right knee above the hip Toe taps for five and four. Keep lifting the right hip up. Three, two, and one. Good. Toe ball heel down. Staying in that just off the mat. We're doing the other side. Left knee comes above the hip. We go for five and four. Now stand on your right foot so you can feel that glute contract. Two more. And last one, good work. Bring the knee back up, toe ball, heel down. Just go lower, lift the hips up, squeeze the glutes. We've got seven. Keeping your knees nice and stable, six. Shoulders wide, four, three. Come on, a strong contraction with your glutes. Make them work, one. Excellent little ribs to hips so we draw the ribs and the hips together squeezing the glutes keeping the knees stable that's it show me six really squeeze your glutes tighten the contraction as much as you can four three two <laughs> one this time your left knee is going to lift first so you want a solid right foot on the floor press it down soften your toes Lift the knee, left knee above your hips. Let's go down for five and four. Trying to keep the hips level. Three and two and one. Let's change sides. Knee above the right hip. Five. 
keeping the right hip level with the left. Three, stand on that left foot. Two, and last one, good. All right, lining up your feet in the middle toe, knees and hips. I want you to lift all the way up. Lower the tailbone to a centimetre off the floor and lift up. Let's do six, squeezing the glutes. Now we really want to tighten this contraction. And as you lift up, stand on your feet and squeeze the glutes, soften the toes. Two more and one, good work. Coming down to your low point, ribs to hips. And let's do six and five, knees are stable. Four, three, two, one, well done. Last round, we're just going to, <laughs> we're just going to roll through the spine. We're just going to lift the tailbone, lift the little lower back, lift the upper back, lift up, soften the feet into the floor and just roll down very slowly, feeling each vertebrae hit the floor. Let's do two more. It's not really a round, it's just your foot, um, we're just stretching. Nice and easy. All right, guys, and this is the last one. Good work. Okay. We're just going to bring the knees into the chest. We are going to finish with Superman's, but before we get there, I just want to stretch out a little bit. So grab hold of your left um, shin, lengthen your right leg. So the leg is lengthening away from us and the knee is coming towards our nose. You can put the foot on the floor and just breathe. Excellent. Okay, let's just swap sides. So bring the right ankle, right knee into the um, chest. Lengthen the left leg away. Leave it off the floor for a couple of seconds. Keep reaching the foot away and then just gently lower the leg to the floor. And as you do, you'll probably feel that your knee will come closer to your chest, which is nice, isn't it? All right, let's come up and come onto our abdominals. We must have a six pack by now after all that hard work. How did you feel? Could you feel them? I felt mine. I feel like my hair's all coming out. All right. We're just going to finish with some posture work, which is Superman's, because we're super women, sorry, superwoman exercises. All right, just um, feet a little bit wider than your mat, arms a little bit wider than the top of your mat, draw the chin towards the chest. First thing I want you to do is squeeze your um, upper back, draw the shoulders down and lift the arms up. Reach the arms away. See if we can lift the arms a little bit higher here. Navel to spine. All right, just lower them down. Let's try that with our legs. So keep our arms down this time. Lengthen your legs. Squeeze the glutes. Just lift the legs off the mat. Keep lengthening the legs as you lift. That's it. That's good. And coming down, let's do our arms and legs together. So... Lifting the arms and legs. So we do that by squeezing the shoulder blades to lift the arms higher. Squeeze the glutes to get a little bit more lift in your All right, feeling nice and strong, powerful. Reach the arms away, reach the legs away. Feel that strong contraction in your upper back and your glutes. And then gently coming down, push yourself up. Come into a child's pose. <sighs> Did you think that was a tough workout? I did. Oh, I feel like I could do that three more times and I still wouldn't be happy with the result. <laughs> uh, but I did feel it, so I hope you did too. All right, let's just finish in a nice, easy position. And let's do some breaths together. So we're going to bring our hands forward, breathing in. Bring our hands all the way back as we breathe out, opening up the chest and the shoulders. Let's do two more. And last one. Well done, guys. Please let me know how you went. This was really for you, Anna, because you said you would do it. <laughs> and um, But it was for everybody. And I really hope you all enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye.